138 students from different schools in Meru were yesterday rescued from an accident in waiting by police after the driver and the conductor of the Matatu they were arrested uh, for, drink, for drunk driving. Now the two visibly intoxicated men confessed at the Menti North Police Station for risking the lives of the students when they were arrested along the Meru Mokendori Road. Here is Eric Njoka with all the drama that accompanied the arrest of the crew. Nothing is wrong with the vehicle, but a whole lot was wrong with the crew of this 40-seater Matatu headed to Meru carrying 38 students, all heading home for the midterm break. In handcuffs, the driver and conductor were taken to the Imenti police station. Where it was all about why they had been arrested drinking and driving the students in the bus seemed oblivious of the danger that could have before them if the two could have proceeded with the trip and it gets even worse it was not just about the drink driving there was an even bigger problem seven jerry cans full of petrol were part of the luggage in the matatu a recipe for disaster with the vehicle had been involved in an accident. This is an example to the general public that you also have a duty. You also have a duty as a passenger not just to be carried as a sack. Please stop the driver, make noise, make calls to the police uh, uh, to alert them so that such people are not allowed to drive any vehicle on the road, not just a public service vehicle. <laughs> The two were arrested when a trailing vehicle noticed the bus veering off the road. They were eventually stopped at a roadblock. Ironically, the bus belongs to an immediate former politician in Tarakanithi County, and it has never been inspected. The owner got it rough when the police impounded the vehicle. It is bad. Why are you allowing that? Just to report a very serious accident here, they were aware. Do you want to kill a Siku Meru or Kenya? We keep reporting Wananchi wa Mokufa. They have been maimed. The fate that met the two is apparently common in Meru. Drivers and conductors drink as they wait for their vehicles to be full at the Meru main bus terminal before driving to their destination. Perhaps parents should be wary of what means their children use to get home when schools close. Eric Njoka.